Today I'm going to take a regular paper plane and turn it into a steel one. <laughs> because I can. Now there are many different ways to fold a paper plane. But since I really only know one method and I've been folding it this way since kindergarten, I'm gonna do it my way. Any other pattern will work just as fine since we have to cut it up anyway. Now it's time to trace our pattern onto the steel. I'm using 4mm thick steel, but if you wanted to, you could easily scale it up even more. Now I numbered the pieces to keep count, but there are 6 in total. To cut the pieces out, I'm using a cut-off wheel on the angle grinder, with a steel bar as a guide to help with the straight lines. Now it's best not to cut exactly on the lines, but rather right next to it, on the outside of the piece you want to cut out, because it's easier to go back and grind your way back to that line. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Well, um, turns out jeans are not as heat resistant as I thought. No, that's too bad, because I really like this pair of jeans goes to show you that you can never be too safe working with heat and sparks. Now I had to be extra careful cutting all the smaller pieces because I didn't want to get them damaged. After lots and lots of cutting you should get all six pieces. Two of each roughly the same size. The next step is cleaning up all the edges on the belt sander. Now that all the edges are relatively straight, it's time to weld everything together. I'm only tack welding the pieces at first, so I can still force them into place if any happen to be crooked. It really is worth it to take your time and check after each tech weld if the pieces line up properly. I added some more welds just so the pieces won't be able to flex and warp later on. And while I was at it, I made a second one. And after all the pieces line up correctly, I'm going back with a full weld. Now I want the plane to look like one solid piece of metal, so it looks like it's been folded, not welded. So with a grinding wheel on the angle grinder, I remove the bulk of the welds. And for a smooth surface, I go back and forth quickly with light passes. This already leaves a nice finish, but I want it to shine even more. And this is quick work with some steel wool. Nice. Now I thought the steel plane was going to be completely useless. You know, just a silly thing to have laying around. Turns out it makes for a great phone stand. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Be sure to subscribe for more random DIY stuff. <laughs> I don't know. And see you in the next one.